y'all the recipe that I'm going to share with y'all today. I've never heard of it. I've never made it. Uh, this is something that, did Eddie advise you on this, Teresa, or did you? He gave me the idea, talk? yes. Because okay. it's St. Patrick's Day, my favorite time of the year. And, you know, Eddie and I have been in Savannah the same length of time, but apparently he's been much more social than I have. Uh, I have that a hard time getting much. out of the kitchen. I was just like, that doesn't take much. <laughs> it doesn't, does it? But um, Eddie's first St. Patrick's Day here, he he got out among some of the locals that live here, and he was. Were you invited in somebody's house? Well, well it wasn't my first. Uh, my first was when I was in college. This was okay. uh, pro- probably my first like party after. After, after you college, graduated yeah. from SCAD, yeah. okay. I lived so, on. I lived on the parade route. <laughs> uh huh. I did too. I did too. And it was so exciting. <laughs> Uh, so, so tell me, tell me about it, and talk loud enough so they can hear you. Um, well, a good friend of mine at the time, she um, worked for our good friend Elaine Seavold. Yeah, and. Um, we were having the, the the big St. Patrick's Day party, so being on the parade route, I invited Elaine and Christina, and Christina came in with a, a tray of these great little round balls, <laughs> and she said, "Were they round or no, oblong? well? They were oblong." She she said they were. Um, Irish potato candies and we were like oh gosh potato candy <laughs> Irish <laughs> potato candies and they were so good I mean it was just a a nice little treat that, that is made around St. Patrick's Day yes and Christina was part Irish at least uh-huh, yeah. right. so, <laughs> so many of us here in this town are Irish uh, I've been told I don't know who I am or what I am but um I'm Scott Irish, is what my mother and father told me. So, I just think that's unbelievable that I had not heard or seen this. So, I'm real excited uh, because, you know, uh, here in Savannah, St. Patrick's Day is a very, very big deal. Big, big deal. So... The St. Patty's people will they will own downtown Savannah for a couple of days, won't they? Yes, and this is a great little thing to be able to take to the parade. I mean, you know, know, if you're having a party or if you're going down to the parade, that's and right. The picnic. That's right. That's right. Okay, so I've got my cream cheese, my butter, and my salt, and I'm just gonna whip this. Up. I think it said three minutes. Just get it nice and smooth. teaspoon of our fabulous homemade vanilla made from Tito Tito's vodka alright so we want to whip this for about three minutes until it's nice and fluffy and then I'm going to add my uh, confectionate sugar and we're going to need like one pound and we're going to beat that until it's smooth another three minutes and then we're going to stir in our, we're going to pour in our coconut and then beat it for an additional minute or two. Looking back, Eddie said he almost felt like Christina, the lady that brought those to the get-together, had almond flavoring in it. Well, we all adore almond flavoring in this house. So I say let's go for it, Eddie. Sounds good. Almond, cinnamon, uh-huh, cream cheese. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And with the coconut, it's going to taste like a certain candy that I love. Oh, it's too good. All right, now how much uh, vanilla did this call for? You put a teaspoon in. Yeah, that's what it calls for. So I guess I should do an equal teaspoon of almond. And we'll see what we got. I don't think it can go wrong, Eddie. So I'm going to slowly add the uh, powdered sugar. All right, so I'm fixing to add our coconut, y'all. And uh, I'm going to share with you something that I do. To me, the coconut in the bag 
uh, the shreds are really long, and I don't like them quite that long. I like it. I like them cut a little bit finer. So I just throw my coconut into my food processor and it gets it to more the size that I like. It's not mandatory that you do that. It's strictly up to you. This is a real, real thick, thick, thick. candy and we're going to put it in the refrigerator and it's going to get even harder. Oh gosh, this is so thick. Thick, thick, thick. Oh, but I, I know just what this is going to taste like now. That candy that I've made for years. Okay, so here goes my little tater. And you might not want them like just perfect, you know? How about that, Eddie? Okay, y'all, the recipe said uh, it made uh, four and a half dozen, which would be 48 plus six, yeah. so about 50 something. Uh, I got three or four, maybe five more after you counted, Teresa. So we're very close, but we must have made these a little bit bigger than before. I think Easter coming, we could take that and dye them different color, you know, mix in uh, pinks and reds and purples. I like how you said about not doing the coconut in it, but maybe rolling them in coconut yes. in a yes. colored coconut. I yes. that'd be fun. Yes. But I'm going to put them in the refrigerator. Yeah. And then we're going to be rolling them in just plain cinnamon. Or is it cinnamon sugar? Just cinnamon. Okay. Okay, we're ready to coat our Irish potato candy in cinnamon. And uh, we found some gold cupcake holders because this is going to be served at our St. Patrick's Day party. Uh, would you like to look for a pot of gold, Michael? Yeah. <laughs> I already found one over there. <laughs> well, you watch this. And I'm going to show you why they call them. Potato, Irish potato. It looks like a potato. Looks just like a potato, doesn't it? It reminds me of one of my favorite candy bars. Now, some we made round. What candy bar? Well, it's a candy bar that you buy at the store that I like. Bounce. I've tasted every one. It does taste like a bounce. It has that, it has that coconut. <laughs> yeah. All right, we made some in round circles because that kind of looks like truffles. But I just love them. Well, I'm a potato lover. You know potato's my favorite food. So I just love the ones that look like a potato. <laughs> look at that. Now, the party that you went to, Eddie, did they, um, did they... How did they serve them? Oh, she, she just had them all on a tray. They went fast. They went fast. Please have one. Are they all? Are these all cinnamon? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't. I'm not a big espresso person. It's delicious. Oh, it's different. It's so good. Yeah. I'm glad we put the almond extract in it. We made it our own, mm -hmm. or your own. And I'm glad I ran the coconut through the food processor. Very good. Because it's not in such long strands. Very, very good, Eddie. <laughs> A plus, Eddie. Mm, mm. What was I doing while you were out partying? I don't know. <laughs> Loving best dishes, y'all. You got to try this, especially with Easter coming up. I'm going to make all my grandchildren some, but I'm going to dye them. I'm going to dye the eggs different colors and then dye the coconut another color. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, 
and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.